These are some of my 808 tricks that I use in 99% of my beats that you guys need to know. Welcome to the video. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle Beats. If you don't know who I am, this is pretty lit. Look at this. Yo, Kyle, this is crazy. Hello. Okay. Welcome to the vlog. Hey. So in the video today, I'm going to be making a beat. I'm going to be making something fire, something great. I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but it's going to be dope. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, make sure you drop a like. Um, I also want to show you in this video too, my tricks, tips, my tips and tricks of how I use my 808s, like an efficient way to slide your 808s. I do a little something different when I slide my 808s. Yeah, just a little cool little tips and tricks. I'm going to show that in there too. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you drop a like if you like it, and let's get into this video. It's Lay right here making beats in three, two, one. I got this sample from this random song, Bulletproof. She's saying like, I'll be, and I just chopped that up. I'm gonna put a bunch of effects on this. This is not how it's gonna sound. This is just gonna be how it sounds for when I record it and then put a bunch of effects on it and make it super dope. switch that far clap that I just added with the kind of reverb on it from the Kingdom Drum Kit. I'm gonna switch that with the shy clap. So now it's gonna sound like this. And then I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna record my screen and show you what I'm doing because you guys probably can't see it. I'm gonna go in here to the far clap and just get rid of the first one. So it's gonna be on every other, so it's gonna go. And the second one's gonna have the pss. If I keep that in the end, but right now it sounds pretty good, so. I'm trying different stuff with my hi-hats. I try to stay away from the right click fill every two steps, unless it's just like that type of song, but. Excitement at its finest here today. These 808s are hard. I'm gonna lay those down first. It's funny because 
this is a piano like the thing I always do on the piano which is weird is the 808s I don't know why I'm able to get, be more creative I feel like the 808s sometimes make trap beats what they are this beats gonna be lit so I'm gonna lay these down and then I'm gonna show you guys like the slide techniques that I do because I'm 100% gonna do that technique The Soul 808 from the Kingdom Drum Kit. You heard it right. The Kingdom Drum Kit. Available now. KyleBeast.com Damn, this is so great. These are some of my 808 tricks that I use in 99% of my beats that you guys need to know. First off, a trick that most people already know is treat your, I mean, a lot of people don't, but a lot of people might know this. Treat your 808s like a melody. If you saw here, I used a keyboard. You don't have to use a keyboard, but treat them like a melody. I went boom. Pitch it up. like a melody that's one of the tricks number two here's the trick that I use to switch it up just you can put another note on top to kind of go back and forth so it kind of kind of cuts the other one off so it's like boom 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 and it just gives it like this wobbly I don't know it just gives it a sick effect and I always do that and then another thing I do with sliding is at the end right here i don't know why i showed the screen at the end right here this last note i usually do this instead of having it be a normal note i usually slide it so instead of sliding my 808s throughout the beat i slide it at the end so it just gives it like a it almost it's almost like acts as like a little a mini transition within the beat itself you know what i mean so it kind of transitions into the next pattern and then it drops again um so i just did it right now see what it sounds like now That's a quick one it's 160 bpm when the bpm is lower beat isn't as fast pace you'll hear it more um but I, I like the way it sounds in this it's just something interesting you can do is have a slide at the end of your beat uh, at the end of your transition for your 808s and uh yeah let's this beat is really great i like this beat a lot done got the vocals in there whatever whatever i want to show you what i did with the vocals i want to show you what i did with the vocals here's the mixer track for the vocals right here i did an eq cut out the highs and the lows here's what it looks like blah 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 reverb simple reverb a love filter fruity love filter did the side chain preset if you go in here presets oops almost changed it side chain preset and then the side chain was down here. I brought it up to halfway so it kind of has like a ripple, whatever effect. Put a tiny bit of distortion on there. A tiny bit of distortion on there. The knob is slightly gone. Gross beat, did I take it off? I don't think I even used it. Oh no, a half speed gross beat. Um, and then a little bit of delay too. There's a lot of little tricks like that to vocals. Delay, set, eight steps. That's usually what I do for all my delays, um, if I use delay. But yeah, it's super smooth. The distortion really, the distortion really gives it life. Download the Keyscape, finally. Escape on the way, piano beats on the way, it's lit. Alright, so next day, editing, editing, editing the, 
Edit editing the video. Editing the video now. The beat came out super dope, super clean. I'm about to play it for you, the final version. Um, if you like this beat, drop a like on the video. This is the end of the video. This is gonna be the ending. I'm gonna play it, I have the screen recorded. I have it all finished, it's crazy. Drop a like. Yeah, I'm gonna play the beat. Thank you for watching this video. It's lit, we're out here making beats. I'm gonna play it in three, two. Yo, Kyle, this shit's crazy.